Hello, welcome to our lesson on the eight pieces of brocade, the standing uh, version. There is also another video that shows the sitting exercises that of the eight sitting exercises and I will demonstrate the eight standing exercises in this video. This is a very uh, famous and ancient set of exercises, uh, far more than a thousand years old. Uh, and you will see if you uh, Google it, you will probably see there are um, at least maybe 50 to 100 different masters all doing it. And you will recognize that it is the same set, but you will notice that there are a lot of different details that they are emphasizing. How, and that is because they came from different uh, sources that they learned from this teacher or that teacher. And they have added or um, removed uh, some, some minor details. But in general, it is very important to understand that you are doing these exercises to uh, get a certain result, which is to uh, increase the flow of qi in a correct way, in a balanced way, so it's smooth flowing, and that you improve your um, skill in regulating the flow of qi. And that's mainly uh, the reason why we do this, and therefore we improve our health. The first exercise is the lifting the hands to the heaven or to the sky where we start by standing approximately shoulder width and we uh, bring up we consider that in our the normal training of qigong we consider that the the center of the chi is tanden or the hara in uh, if you study the Japanese systems, it's below the umbilical cord, the belly button, about an inch to an one and a half inch, and um, we consider that when we start, we will push the chi and we will visualize the chi throughout these eight exercises. Uh, so you try your best, and you will improve with time. And we are, rather than pulling chi, we are pushing chi. So we are pushing the chi up. And we are pushing it up to the sky. And now what we do is we twist the body. So the whole body is coiled a bit. And so you don't actually move your feet. So you're standing and you are twisting. Slowly, you move to the other side and you are twisting or coiling maybe as a better word to use and go back again and now I'm talking but you will be breathing you will try to balance your or regulate your breathing so I will be um, when I turn this time I will be breathing in inhaling So I will be starting the breathing in uh, after when I am reaching this point here, I will start to and then start breathing out or exhaling at this point here and a little bit after I start moving back to the center again. And you will do this approximately 12 to 15 times uh, to each side. So when you're going here, going up, pulling, pushing this guy and this is one to each side. So now I do one until I'm here. Now I, that was one. So you will do 12 to 15 
of those and each side you will have one breath and then exhale here oh, sorry inhale here and then you will exhale when you reach this point where you almost stretch out where you're pu pushing and exhaling is yang and inhaling is yin so we are balancing the equal uh, attention on those two to create the proper balance. That is the first exercise. The second exercise is uh, drawing the bow and in this exercise what we do is we turn, turn a little bit to the side and then we pull, in this case I'm standing, this is my left hand here, so I'm pushing out and I'm pulling back with the right hand as if pulling a bowstring and pushing a bow away from me. So I'm now stretch out and you, you uh, visualize the target and your focus is on this imaginary arrow that is going to the target. So we go like this. This is the end position. I have finished exhaling here and then and you can do this nine times to one side then you go to the other side you switch again you go from this side to this side and push out again so I go here don't forget to visualize and the, you could say in this particular exercise that the arrow is the chi so that means that you are pushing the chi out because the whole purpose of these exercises is to move the chi and each exercise uh, of the eight exercises that now we are now doing standing here um, are pushing the chi in a different way so we in the end have focused on the whole body the third exercise is separating heaven and earth and again here we are making a twist, a bit of a twist and stretching, stretching the body in, in a, how can I say, in a twisting motion or, or coiling motion so we go First we push the chi So in this particular exercise, what we do is we twist and push up and down at the same time into the opposite direction. So we are splitting or pushing them apart while we are twisting the body. I hope it's clear enough. The fourth exercise is gazing backwards
this exercise here, we stretch the spine. This is for this exercising the chi of the spine, where we are stretching. We should be pushing the shoulders a bit back and twisting the arms. So we are basically and pushing the the chest a little bit forward. So what we're doing here is and looking backwards. So we are stretching the spine, uh, and again. We are coiling a little bit. Coiling is a big part of, of Qigong uh, pushing the Qi. So we go inhale and exhale. The next exercise, we basically um, push the, swing the head and shake the tail, so to speak. Although there's not really much shaking going on, but so you will have a nice wide stance, and you put your uh, hands uh, so the thumbs are pointing backwards rather than forwards like this so they are pointing forward, uh, backwards here so we start basically by going to one side here so all the weight pretty much is or most of the weight is over the right foot so we are pushing here and then we swing to the other side. And when you reach the other side, you will be stretching a little bit. You will be stretching here and then inhaling and exhaling. and back the next exercise is Called massage the kidney and reach the feet. So you turn the hands backwards until they reach the kidney and you graze the kidney and then you basically bend down so your hands go down behind till they reach the feet and then you go back up and then you try to keep the breathing, regulate the breathing.
this exercise you could do also 9 times, 12 times, 15 times. The next exercise is punching with focused uh, sight or eyes. And here we take a nice wide stance. out when we punch out we, we exhale and we give just like we're giving a little extra push Imagine you are pushing the chi out through your hand. This exercise you can also do 12, 15, 18, you can do maybe a couple of minutes if you feel you, it is, there are different exercises, some of them have um, better effect for different people, so one exercise is somebody's favorite and they can feel something really happening and other exercises they might not feel as much so it all uh, depends which is also one of the reasons why the exercises um, are slightly different from master to master because they are usually in either with the TCM doctors who are doing the Qigong or with the martial artists and the martial artists come from different backgrounds different type of uh, uh, fighting system, whether it's chi, uh, whether it's Tai Chi, Bakwa, Zingi, Shaolin, any kind of, of different in or even uh, a non Chinese system, Japanese system, they have a different. And in Japan, of course, they have also Qigong. The last exercise, is, you know, the eighth exercise, is simply bouncing on the heel. So I will do that from the side so it's a little bit easier to see. Basically, you are regulating your breathing and then you raise up so you are on the front of your foot and then you let yourself fall down on the heel. times you go a little bit faster and then a little bit faster again so you will be doing you will be doing about 15 um, five and five and five or maybe the last one you might be doing ten of course it's a little bit quicker in between as a bonus for these exercises I have another technique that you might 
what to use at the end of the standing exercise where we will uh, push the chi out through the balls of your feet and the palms of your hand. So basically we start with shoulder width stand feet apart and focus on our breathing. We are not lifting the heels in this case. What we are doing is we are just slowing, lowering our body while we are visualizing the center of the foot that she is going into the floor, into the ground, as well as to the palm of your hand, at the center of your hand. So, This exercise, this exercise specifically is very good when we get stressed, we might be standing somewhere, waiting, being impatient, standing in a line, maybe you don't want to do it in a line and people will start staring at you, but uh, you might find other times uh, where you are really stressed and a couple of minutes of this exercise is, is, is quite excellent. Before you start um, Tai Chi, uh, sword training, the Aikido or any of the other weapons uh, exercises, we have another set of specific Qi Gong exercises that kind of prepares for that purpose, where uh, this eight standing and the eight sitting, the eight pieces of brocade sitting and standing, uh, is more to improve general health. So until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe and work on your cheek.